So I've got an Echelon 9.V furnace um, that's giving me, me a fault code with uh, four flashing red LEDs, uh, which according to the label on the inside of the panel um, tells me four red LEDs tells me that the limit switch is open. And so I've inspected what I thought this to be a limit switch and it doesn't make a difference whether it's plugged in or not and I've inspected this one including doing a reset on this one back there the red leads on it and the brown switch no difference and everything looks good and normal with it and then I saw this one down here amongst all the corrosion and uh, this corrosion is caused from uh, condensation coming back through the uh, exhaust vent and not having been properly sealed by our the furnace installers and then we've got all sorts of corrosion happening down here and uh, this furnace is only about five and a half years old and this lead right here when I was fiddling with this yesterday broke right off and it's because of the corrosion and so talking to the furnace guy um, he figured that this was the the culprit and so I'm going to attempt to uh, remove this thing and see what happens. Okay, so just a little update. Um, I'm having a hard time getting this old switch out just because the corrosion is so bad in there. I can't even recognize those bolts or nuts as such. Um, anyway, I just took these two terminals and shorted them with a paper clip and uh, and engaged the furnace and lo and behold I got fire and code was green everything was good to go uh, so this the switch with the corrosion is in fact the problem and so I'd already ordered one in earlier today I'll be picking that up tomorrow and we'll be replacing it so hopefully I can get this thing off and uh, and show you guys okay so I was able to get one screw out of the top, however um, the shaft of the screw broke so I'm gonna have to uh, fish that out. Here's the one that I got out and I just grabbed on it with a pair of pliers and just torqued on it until it came. Um, the lower one on the other hand is gonna be more of a problem. It's not coming for me. Uh, there was a um, small drain tube that was in my way. And I'll just show you this. Uh, this guy right here. So it was attached to that nozzle there and it just goes into this uh, into the drain here. So this end wasn't really attached to anything it just fits into the hole in here. And, um, and this one just had a clamp on it so I popped that clamp off and pulled it off. It took a little bit of force and a little bit of prying but it came uh, make sure you don't damage anything like that. Um, so now that I got that out of the way, I can keep uh, digging away at this switch. Alright, well it took some effort, but I got it off. Um, so I originally started to uh, actually drill out the center of the head off of this um, machine screw, as you can see here. but. I decided to try once more with the pliers. I was able to get on it and uh, and twisted it off. But again, uh, it's also broken, so I'm gonna need the drill again, anyways, to um, to chase those threads. Problem is, I don't have any sort of an easy out or anything to uh, to properly chase the threads. And this is a plastic housing back here, so I hope I don't have ruined threads. I might need to go to a, a next size larger uh, machine screw. But that's all it is. And then the inside, yeah, that's just inside the housing for that, uh, that blower. Nothing special. Okay, so I just got back from the, uh, the dealer. Supplied me with this part. Well, I had to pay for it, of course, but this is the new limit switch. And it's one that uh, turns off or opens up at 160 degrees 
and uh, closes back down to normal at 140 degrees. So that's the way that these uh, these things work. It's just a temperature switch, basically. So uh, I'll install that. I had to also pick up a couple new stainless steel screws. Okay, so I screwed in my new limit switch. Looks like that. No corrosion, very nice. Screws are maybe a little too big, but they work. And the fact that they're stainless is also nice. And so now I connect the two leads, which I couldn't find a, uh, a replacement angled lead on that. I probably could have just got a regular um, connector uh, so that it was corrosion free, but um, for now anyways, because tomorrow is going to be a cold day, I'm just going to use it the way it is. So we'll uh, connect that on. I'm just going to wiggle them back and forth a little bit and make sure that there's a decent contact in there. Okay, now the moment we've been waiting for, at least my wife and daughter have been, so I'm going to turn on my gas switch and I've already got power turned on, thermostat's set to kick in, and I just engage the safety switch. So we see the red. LED, call for heat, blower kicks in, LED is green, it's just a normal operation, and hopefully, got pilot, and fire. 